Mr. Mayor and Dahlia and Noah, members of the family, Ella, Eldad, where are they? Somewhere over here. Uh, it's a great privilege for me and uh, always a sad moment uh, to come to remember the memory of a great man, a great general, a great prime minister, a great leader, a great man of peace. And one can hear his booming voice uh, saying the words, the famous words, we are destined to live together. Uh, here, uh, just moments before his life was taken and the possibilities of peace were disrupted through an act of violence, he stood up on that balcony with his friend Shimon Perez and together they sang, don't uh, whisper a prayer. Uh, sing a song of peace in a loud voice. We are now 18 years since that moment. And it is clear that we need voices ready to sing a song of peace loudly, with courage, with the same determination that Prime Minister Rabin showed in his quest for peace. He dared to take the risks for peace because he believed not just that it was important for the sake of peace, but that it was vital for the security and future of Israel and of the region. Eighteen years is important because I am told uh, that eighteen is important. In the Proverbs, the eighteenth proverb, uh, it says that Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life in the power of the tongue. So what we say with our voices, how we talk about peace, how we prepare the possibilities of peace, are really critical to all of us. We need to avoid incitement. We need to sing that song that Prime Minister Rabin and President Perez embraced together. 18 is also, I am told, very important in Hebrew because the, the letters that write the word 18 literally mean life, Hai. I remember shouting those words once from the top of Masada in my first visit to the Holy Land. And we stood up there, and together as a group, we shouted across the chasm, Am Yisrael Hai. Those words meant something to me. And so maybe 18, maybe the word Hai in life will have a special meaning at this particular moment. The Proverbs also teach us Lachaim. That's something we now need to put into practice. So I come here without any illusions about the difficulties, but I come here determined to work with leaders, with the Prime Minister, with the President of the Palestinian Authority, to try to find a way forward so that Israel can live the dream of President Perez and of Prime Minister Rabin expressed so eloquently and beautifully in the tragedy of that day here and in many days before that. We will continue to work and I can promise Israelis that America will stand by the side of Israel every step of the way. We believe this is something that is possible, that it is good for all, uh, and that it can be achieved. And I will leave here inspired by being here with Dalia and with members of the family, most importantly by seeing the symbolism of the turbulence, the earthquake that followed that moment of violence. It should rededicate every person in Israel to the possibility of a just and appropriate and fair peace which protects the security of Israel, guarantees that uh, Israel's security will be protected, but makes possible for people to live the words of the Prime Minister, we are destined to live together. 
I add, in peace. Thank you.